Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Friday morning thought for today. This may be one of the shortest uh, thoughts for the day because I've got a very, very simple message for you. And I hope and pray that uh, as you listen to this, you're encouraged. I don't know what your circumstances are. I don't know what your weekend's going to look like, but I trust and pray that you have a good weekend. And if you get time to spend with your family, I pray that would be precious time and that uh, you get to be part of our, our online service on the weekend. The very end of this story, Jesus has restored life to Jairus' daughter. It's a shame we don't know her name as well, because we keep on referring to her as almost like a property that belongs to Jairus. But this, this daughter, this young girl, 12-year-old girl, and it's interesting that uh, she was 12 years old and the woman in the middle of the story who had the bleed had the bleed for 12 years. In other words, uh, the woman's problem started really when uh, Jairus' daughter was born. And there are a number of parallels throughout the story, which I'm not going to go into this morning, but feel free to have a look at them yourself. Uh, I want to think really about what happened immediately after she was brought back to life. We're reading um, verse 42 and 43 of uh, Mark chapter 5. And immediately the girl got up and began walking, for she was 12 years of age, and they were immediately overcome with amazement. Okay, so that's everyone in the room, Peter, James and John, mum and dad, they were completely amazed. And maybe even the, the girl herself was amazed at what had happened. But not only has God, uh, through Jesus, restored power or life to this girl, but he's restored power to her as well. She had been sick and she'd been sick to the point of death and then she died and now she's been restored in such a way that she's able to get up and walk around and I think that's that's wonderful but then it goes on in verse 43 and he that's Jesus strictly charged them that no one should know this and told them to give her something to eat so Jesus is maintaining the messianic secret now, he probably knows that word will get out and all the rest but he still has to try and subdue the the interest in him being the Messiah subdue this interest so that he can continue his ministry until the the time is right but it's this last little sentence Mark's added it here and it's so curious because where did it come from and and what was going on this is Jesus so he, he tells him not to tell anyone about what's just happened and then <laughs> and then he told them to give her something to eat Incredible that, that Jesus has just told the parents of this girl, give this girl something to eat. Now, how, what was that about? How did Jesus know that she was hungry? Well, he knew she was hungry because Jesus knows all things. Jesus is 100% God, 100% man. Jesus knows that this little girl's hungry. And he's basically saying, look, she needs to eat. She's come through a lot. Give her something to eat. And I think this is amazing because there's this huge theological issue and then tagged on to the end of it, there's this, this wonderful mention of the fact that Jesus understands our need. He understands how you're feeling. As you come up to the weekend, I don't know what sort of emotions you have. I don't know if you're looking forward to the weekend or you're dreading it or you've had a bad week or you're looking forward to next week or you're not looking forward. I don't know who's watching this and what you're going through, but Jesus knows and Jesus cares. He cared enough for that little girl to say, look, get her something to eat. She's hungry. Jesus could have said, okay, folks, you've got your, your daughter back. Please don't be going out there telling anyone that I just brought your daughter back from, from the dead because that's going to do a damage to my ministry. Enjoy your time together. I'm away. But no, no, he, he knew that there was a need, even if it was just a physical need. She was hungry. She needed something to eat. She had the strength to walk, but she was hungry. And she, she needed this to be met. And Jesus cared enough. Jesus knew enough about her to say to the parents, look after her. This is what she needs. The same Jesus knows what you're going through. The same Jesus knows your emotions. The same Jesus is not unaware. But he knows and he understands and he cares. I would encourage you to come close to Jesus. To thank him that he knows to call out to him for the help that you need, to draw near to him, believing that he knows about you, he cares about you, and he loves you. He loved you enough to come and die on that cross for you. So we worship a God who not only knows, but a God who really cares. I hope that's encouragement for you this Friday morning, but also as you move into the weekend. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you soon. God bless.